Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we do have a Flashpoint available to, to do today, which we're going to do. Uh, I do want to show you the mech bay first, because I said in the last episode I was going to make some changes to some of the mechs, and I just want to show you what we did here. So the Shadowhawk received those double plus, I'm not going to really go into it, but we put a, a triple plus uh, flamer in each arm. I moved one double plus from the right, put it in the left, and then we just have a regular flamer in the center torso now. So it's a little bit of a boost to the flame damage. Uh, especially for overheat uh, for this mech, this times three overheat damage on uh, um, this triple plus flamer. So that's good. And, oh crap, we gotta check out in a second. Uh, why do I have, let's have a look here and see what's up here. Oh, I forgot to put the AC5 ammo in, that's why. Well, that would make total sense. So I was working on putting this guy together. And we don't have any room. Um, and I tried out a medium pulse then. Uh, we need more space. So we can do... Ah, man. I thought this build was too good to be true. So I had... Ah, LK, dead fire. You know what? Let's just pull up the dead fire ammo. Let's just put in some precision, precision AC ammo. But anyway, so the, the build on this guy has changed slightly. So I pulled out the LBX-5 that we had in the arm. How many times do I do that with ammo, though? I don't know. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um... I pulled out the AC, the uh, LBX-5 in the arm and put a light AC instead, only because I needed some tonnage. So I did that, and then um, I upgraded the SRM-6s uh, to the, we, we had single pluses in here, the six and the four, I'm gonna put them in as triple plus now because we took them off of the uh, Bushwhacker. So we've got better w weapons here. Uh, I had to put in a lot of patchwork materials, well, just these two really, and yeah, that's it, just these two, for an extra ton and a half, because I put in a watchdog suite because um, we didn't have any ECM on this guy. Uh, I dropped the sniper sensors in this guy, give it a bit more sensors, and um, I put a medium pulse laser in. Two medium pulse lasers, in fact, uh, to give this guy some good ranged um, damage at 460 meters is pretty darn good. Um, the light ECs have got a bit farther than that, 480, but not much. But So we're all within roughly the same range black of the SRMs when, when we get close. Now this is a relatively hot build, um, for my normal play style But our heat efficiency has gone up slightly. I mean we are not anywhere near being flush right now But there's nothing I can really do about that. Unfortunately um, There's no way to really squeak anything else in here. Um, I did add an NSS though I, I pulled out the uh, ferro fibers because I had to it just didn't have space um, So the one thing that we can do at some point if we get clan endo steel We can drop it in here, which would add a bit of space Which then we can play around with stuff, but right now it's packed to the gills There's not much we can really do about this. So it is what it is right now So uh, we're light looks like we're a bit light on ammo. There's not much we can really do about that I think probably what we'll do is we'll cycle the AC fives a bit um, Work with the pulses and the SRMs, but we can just play around um, Hopefully we're not requiring a lot of ammo to be shot um, we'll have to play around a bit more, I think, um, with this build in total. But I think, you know, for a short run build, um, this mech is actually pretty darn good. It's got a nice big punch to it. Um, and the only reason why I'm pulling out the dead fire ammo as opposed to the LK ammo is I want to hit more often. Uh, this is minus one accuracy with short range missiles. And we have plus one SRM damage from the... Uh, uh, missile fire control system plus these have got bonus damage as well. So I know these would add a heavy punch um, But I'm thinking this punch is probably going to be good enough uh, So that's the reason why I'm going that route. So let's just confirm this for now I mean, we'll, we'll probably revisit this build in the future anyway. So but this is what we're gonna run with for now So let's confirm that All right, All right. so uh, the other thing we did was we had a re rework of the hunchback now, this lance is, was missing a melee mech, and we picked up a bunch of stuff in the past little while that made this a good opportunity to change over to, uh, to a melee mech. Now, we do have the spiky AC-10, which I tried to drop in here. I tried my best to work it into this build. Now, the spiky AC-10 is kind of cool. Uh, it's a single shot, 55 damage weapon, but it's 13 tons. The recoil I wasn't really so, so worried about, because I can mitigate the recoil, not, not too much of a problem. Um, with uh, the addition of 16 base melee damage, which was really nice, but at 13 tons plus at least one ton of ammo, it was just taking up way too much. So there wasn't really much I could do about it. I couldn't fit a mask in. I tried to get a mask in. Um, I would have had to take out all the ER medium lasers and just run with the one autocannon, and I wasn't prepared to do this. Now this build is a really hot build, right? 
Uh, but that's fine because we're going to be meleeing most of the time and we have the ERs if we need to shoot at range. Um, but these are basically just in here for extra melee damage. Once again, I built this the way uh, melee mechs are, are set up to be built. You drop in the weapons that do all the base damage first. Then you drop in anything that does base damage plus percentage. And then you just drop in the percentage things last. Uh, it wasn't this one. I don't think we'd have anything that was just percentage. But um, And I was working from smallest to largest because the smallest, like this is plus 5 additional base melee damage plus 10 melee. Uh, 10 plus 10 percent melee damage i put this on first before putting these guys on because i wanted to apply the 70 percent to the actual five as opposed to applying 10 percent to the actual you know 10 plus the rest so um that's kind of was my thinking on it now we didn't have any room for an ecm in here so we did have to go with the r r12 ar12 sheath beacon in the head which is actually pretty good for an ecm uh if you can't actually fit an ecm in it's actually not bad to put this in the head oh Right, I forgot I put this fire control system in. We don't actually need that one now. Let's trade that out. So I did have this fire control system in here when I had the AC-10 in here to try and uh, mitigate the recoil and give us more accuracy. But because we don't need it, um, there was no reason to leave it in now. So let's have a look at what we got here to drop in. Do we have anything for energy? Uh, missile damage, fire can armored cowl. No, it doesn't look like we have anything energy wise. So maybe we just have to leave it like this. Uh, well, this gives us breaching shot. We, really, we don't really need breaching shot. Um, but you know what? Having a fire control system in is better than not having one. So let's add it anyway. Confirm this. So I had to sell off a bunch of our junk to be able to get this up and running. Uh, but now we are at a point where we can actually pull off the flashpoint. So let's go ahead and do this. Flashpoint available. Yeah, we're going to take this one, going to go for the Comstar loot, loot cache, see what we get out of it, and begin. Simple greetings, high orbit. Commander Roxova, Comstar has requested our help. Our help specifically with the current pirate problem on planet. All right. Uh, why Comstar is even here? And aren't the locals involved? I don't like the sound of this. Yeah, well, we never like the sound of it. Bad news mixing up with Constar. Things don't go smoothly afterwards. When has anything ever gone smoothly for us? Please, spell that out, because I, I don't remember. If that doesn't tip you off, and we both agree nothing will. Yeah, well, we already know that's not a good idea. Let's put it this way after with that last one with Constar. we got to keep missing order parts for a year. Yeah, well, we can always buy it from other people. More serious matters, we have two possible jobs to take, one from Comstar and a very suspicious offer from the Oregon Pirates pilots they want us to get rid of. Well, somebody's pilots. Okay, let me see what we got here. First up, straightforward job from Comstar, go wipe out the pirate forces, then hunt down and eliminate the retreating stragglers. The contract does uh, specific, uh, specify no survivors though. Alright, what's the other contract? Other hand, offers different view of things. Her contract uh, states, kick the wobbies at, in the gonads and get paid. I'm not even sure it's a legal contract, sure. Yeah, I don't think it's a legal contract either. Definitely against something against the wobbies. What? Okay, I'm, I'm missing the nickname here. I don't know what wobbies is. Um... If anybody knows, drop it in the comment section down below. It's something that's eluding me at the moment. Alright, so, so Commander, which is going to be? Want to do some gonad kicking or eliminate the pirate threat? Well, if we take on Con Comstar, large paycheck. Yarg, pirates. We're not really pirates, so. Why risk pissing off either of them? Well, we get attacked by pirates all the time. Let's take the large paycheck, because that's who we are. Pay is good, however. I'm just worried we may not live up to Comstar's expectations. I don't really care whether we do or not. As long as they honor their, their uh, contract with us, that's all that matters. All right, let's take this sucker. Simple greetings, three skull. All right, that's fine. Rampaging Comstar Terry on Rochester. Uh... Raising population centers, burning fields and refineries, looting storage facilities, that's what pirates do. Probably killing a lot of innocent people. Just like the Nazis did. So let's go in and take these guys out. 
Night Witchers are perfectly suited for this. Full salvage. Let's go. Not a lot of salvage there, though. But we'll take it. Let's deploy. All right, let's get these guys. Stand up, fight. Our lance against theirs, eh? All right. Here we go. Let's see if they're up to the fight. Full let's not give them eyes on. Order. Let's not that let them divide and conquer us. So stick together here. Okay. Defiance, eh? Where do these pirates get this kind of technology? You know what it is? Is Comstar is testing out their new gear, saying these guys are pirates. Standing by. Bet you any money. It's like, oh no, we just lent it to them, and then they took off with it, and yeah, it's not really worth it. Bushwhacker pirate, okay. I like those bushwhacker parts. White, okay. These guys can't see us. Urban mech. All right, well, at least we know what we're up against. Holding for tactical advantage. Um. How psycho are we? Well, we've done some pretty crazy shit in the past. Because, damn, we crazy ass. It's the best, best chance to hit in this guy firing. Commander. Don't leave that girl by herself, buddy. Roger that. Alright, let's firing on this guy. Oh, these guys got reduced armor. Oh, well. Best chance to hit. These guys haven't moved, so yeah, man. Firing. Wow. Yes, Commander. What is up and not being able to hit a goddamn thing? Um, just gonna fire. Detected. I see you. Oh, where are my horns at, people? Where are my horns at? Oh, uh, that's probably a bad idea. Ah, uh, man. Do we want defiance parts? I think we want bushwhacker parts because we can actually... Oh, he's got triple plus PPCs, though. I want those, too. Um, you know what? Roger that. Standing by. Not the absolute best move in the world, but I think we should reserve for a second. I'd love it if that white could move up, because that would be my target. I would kill him in an instant. Shit. Yeah, well, could have been a lot worse. Half of the time... Whoa, you're going to die, buddy. Are you moving, though? You better move. Nope. <laughs> you're going to die. Uh, yes, Commander. Roger. Um, yeah, man. Do we want acid, though? We could, if we increase the damage too much, we could, just, we could just kill him. I don't know if I want to do that. We could multi-target. I think probably that's what we'll do. Because this guy is like almost overheated. We could superheat the... Uh, I don't want to do too much damage on this guy. So we just go this route. All right. Now 
Nice. Oh, I should have put acid on for this guy. Oh well. 30 heat. Not bad. Still not better than flamers, but it's got better range, so. Uh huh. Somebody's got merms. I got a shit ton of heat seeking, so good luck with heat overheating me, buddy. Good luck with that. Don't take my parts away. I need those parts. Um, let's push this leg. Ah, why am I wasting my resolve? Man, I gotta stop doing that. Uh, I think we can do more damage. Let's go after this leg. Um, firing. My god, how many times do I hit the opposite side from what I want? I want that PPC. Don't take, oh, take my arm. You're gonna take the arm away from me. All right, well, we're okay now. So let's, th let's take this move. Uh, let's make sure he goes away, though. Here it comes. Berserkity Berserker. I think this is an AC-20, isn't it? 61L? Uh, it doesn't really matter what it was. You're right. I don't want to look at how much, how badly that mangle that guy is. Hope we can salvage that. I don't know, you're gonna have to clean the blood splatter off it for me first, though. I don't think I want to go in there. Full speed, no target. Oh no, we got a target. Right here. Now, still bun ah, bunch left, eh? I think we want to go more pinpoint yet. Yeah, I don't want to go too much because I don't, I don't want to lose that arm. Okay. Nice. All right. See, I'm leaving you to shoot this guy. I'm not going to shoot him anymore. Maybe it's just this PPC is not meant to be uh, as yeah, back shot. Really? Okay. There we go. There we go. Firing. That time we got the leg. We're only getting two parts. So I don't know how much of this is actually worth it. Do we focus on just taking bushwhacker pieces? I think you need to get around to see this white. Hopefully we get visual... Well, yeah. Let's hope we get visual confirmation from here. Roger. We speed. do. Uh, he goes on 20, right? Megasaur is on 14, unfortunately. <sighs> Not much we can really do about that. Let's confirm this. And we're going to go after this leg. Oh, his torsos are both damaged. Well, we should be able to pull the leg if we hit it with the ER. Ah, uh, man. It's a bit much, but I think we have to go all this route. So let's fire. We did not get it. At least we didn't destroy him, though. Yeah, 20 left or so. Oh, not bad. You got half your shots in. This guy's in melee range. What's up, buddy? 
<laughs> just run right past that guy. Just jump over him as we go by. We go. 150. Nice. It's like taking an arrow hit every turn. Ah, oh, you did, you did really well. Oh, uh, what's that guy's going on eight? That's reserve. This is the Thunderbolt MRM or Thunder? Oh, wait a minute. Does a Thunderbolt have different ammo? Maybe I'm. Maybe I've been on the Gort a little too much here. I'm receiving you. Okay, so uh, yeah, man. Maybe we knock him down again. Yeah. Well. Hey. Um. Risk it for the biscuit. Confirmed. Okay. Biscuit risking. Uh, who do we want to try and pinpoint now? It's got like 25 left, right? So let's not overdo it. Two ER mediums, 26 each. Firing. There we go. Alright, now let's have a look at this guy. What do you got left here? Mm, about 46 or so? So if we go with, let's say this, against this leg, if we hit with the large, we're pretty much going to get it. Yep, there it is. Ah, we lost that. Ah, cut the arm. Target neutralized. Well, see what we get. Mission successful. Yeah, in a straight up fight, those guys didn't really stand too much of a chance against us. If they were full armor, it would have might have been a nice longer fight and a bit better, but they weren't. So, it sucks to be them. All right, whacker parts. Yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna take them both. I'd like to have another bushwhacker. That would be nice. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's lots of other stuff that would tempt me like this, but I'm going to leave it for now. Let's see what we get. Three bushwhacker parts, defiance part, ear medium, small. Yeah, uh, okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. So that's good repair time. Uh, we got to do a consecutive one though, so uh, consecutive deployment. We got second land, so let's do that. And I'm interested to see what we got going on here. So Satori, Chupacabra, uh, Sound Sonic, and Sheet Metal. Um, putting Sheet Metal in the melee mech because we've turned in her into a, our melee pilot. So let's get our Lance up and running here. Changing things around a bit. Uh, we're swapping the Crab and the Hunchback positions in the lineup. Uh, so let's deploy the sucker and get it done. Okay, let's ambush this convoy and go home. We need to stop those weapons, convoys. We know where they're going to be. We know what we need to do. I hear ya. Let's get this shiz done. Pedal to the metal. Commander. How far can you move? Oh, it's pretty good for a melee mech. Chupacabra. If you guys don't know what a chupacabra is, it's like a Mexican, um, what do you want to call it? Oh boy. 
Mexican legend. It's kind of like the, uh, you, you know, like the North American Bigfoot or the Himalayan Yeti or whatever you want to call them. Um, hmm. Hey. Hey. What's up, yo? I've got eyes on the target. Thank you. I'm pretty far away. Um, start off with acid and normal, I think. We need to be in position, though. Waiting for order. Uh -huh. There's our sniper. Yeah, thanks for that. You need to be in range. What do we got here? Hatchet man, 50 ton. Zephyr. And a primitive tank of some unknown design. And wow. Five damage at that range, huh? So we'll just pass on that. Commander. Chupacabra. Now we're not going to fire unless we have... Wow, okay, these are mostly vehicles. SRM carrier, we got to kill that guy. Chance to hit. Uh, we'll just go with the pulses for now, save our ammo. Alright, one hit more than I thought I would have gotten. Somebody moving into our kill zone. Bullet ant. Looks like we should be We've switching to acid. Uh, yeah, we got acid and normal ammo up. The infernal ammo I took for that raven. Just, it's one of those things. It's nice having that little bit of inferno. So when a mech is like running the red line, you can just tip the scales on him a little bit. Now that hatchetman's got an AC10, right? Oh, he's got a PPC or something, or something. Chaff cloud, eh? Damage is minor, commander. Yeah. That guy's got to go, though. How much armor does this guy have? Enough that we should be stepping on it. Uh, he's moving on 16, though, eh? It's going to be before our melee mech. That's a long way to travel. Let's push him back a turn. Push him back a bit if we can. It's the only reason why we're using this. Just gonna run with the medium pulses for now. Uh, let's just go for a side shot and fire. Copy that. Primary target damage. Concentrate. Did I push him back? It, it did not. Jenner A, okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, I don't got any melee damage. Moving back here, let's hope we can keep him in visual range if he tries to take off on us. Look at that, chance to hit. I love this mech. Firing. If it actually hits though. That's why I, you know, I, I would love it if it hit. We're not going to kill this. It's not well. We got lots of ammo. Okay, we got acid on it. Let's hope somebody else goes on 16. I've been sensor locked. That's fine. Let them sensor lock you. Just don't shoot at them. They've got a lock on me. Oh yeah. Going to go from the front where it's been damaged, attacking. On my way. Crunch back. 528 damage. Are you kidding me? This guy's got a 220 melee? 
How is that possible? Oh, I can't wait for Berserker now. <laughs> oh my god. I was hoping to see that guy. Primitive tank, 50 tons, eh? I don't know how much armor that is. 59, 65. 59, 52. Hatchet man's da more dangerous, I think. Okay, nicely done. I really want to move the Raven into here. But it's just asking for trouble with these SRM carriers and stuff here. Okay, that's the laser version. Heavy and two mediums. Yeah, they do. Get used to it. All right, far away. <sighs> Crab needs to be in close. Sucks to be you, dude. Hey. Snub nose misfire. You wonder why I don't use shit like that now. Been on the receiving end of that far too many times. Alright, let's hit this guy. Let's get some acid on him, hopefully. And firing. Okay, got acid on him. He's got leg spike boots. We need another pair of those. We've only got one of them on this mech right now. Balrog. Yes, Commander. <sighs> we can only see this guy, though. It's going to put us in close range for these guys. I mean, we got full armor. We got more than full armor because of the uh, spiky, um, spiky armor that we have. Yeah, let's go for it. At least we get some good eyes on too. This hunchback is a beast. You should be running. Digga, digga. How much armor do you have? 55 on the sides, 50 in the back, eh? Okay. What are you guys doing? Jenner's coming in. Headbutt? No. Pew. You're not that accurate, buddy. Okay, so. This SRM carrier really needs to die hard. I can't see it though. Oh, no. I need you to get eyes on that SRM carrier, man. Can you? You can. You're going to be in a horrible position. Let's see if we can get it on sensors here. Ah, uh, no. We beat for a second, but not quite. Alright, we're going to hammer this guy. Uh, I'm switching to normal ammo. Mm, yeah, okay. Nice. That's fine, though. We don't want there to be much left. 
Uh, you need to go kind of when we can see that SRM carrier if we don't kill it. Let's hope we get, hopefully we get eyes on here. I think we can just kind of clean these guys up now. Um, we're just a little over, eh? This is our best chance to hit. Let's leave the four off then, I guess. Firing. Nope, not enough. Not enough. Good to go. Not enough. Shoot him, shoot him, bring him down. Firing. Got it. Really? There's more where that came from. He's got one left. How many times? Am I going to play this game and attack shit and have it only have one hit point left? Like, really? I don't like those things. I want to get, that's why I want to get rid of it. Balrog's next. What's this guy? Yeah, it's a Balrog. This guy's a... What is this guy again? Yeah. Primitive tank. Bullet ant, right. With, like, no missile systems left or anything. He says, and then he gets hit by missile systems. Reporting. Come on, mech warriors! It's go time! It's go time! Still got some launchers there. What can I do for you? On my way! You know, I praise this thing for having like super being super accurate at long range and then it's like not hitting a goddamn thing. Take this. Like see what I mean? Maybe we take that PPC off of there. I don't know. Come on, we gotta finish these guys up. Who's moving? Jenner. Come on, Gen Xer, move it. Okay. Standing by. I've never seen a mech be part of the convoy before, but I hope he's not. He seems to be running in convoy direction. Uh, this guy we should be able to kill. And I think it's probably better off. Yep, this way. Nicely done. Sheet metal. Confirmed. Targeting for physical attack. Well, needs pirate medium lasers. I don't need those stinking pirate deployed. medium lasers. I heal. Jeez, it looks like that guy's got lots of armor. That's not my bag. Not this guy's bag, anyway. Uh, sure. Okay. It's the wrong torso, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, parting shots. 40 heat, wow. Jenner. What's he doing? We've wrecked this convoy, though. Come on, Jenner. Decide what you're doing. He's fleeing. We're just going to chase him down and kill him. Waiting for orders. Um. Can't actually target anybody but this guy. Let's just target him and then move. Uh, all right, firing. I wonder. We should probably consider. I mean, if we remove one of those light ACs. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. You betcha. 
Yeah, if we remove one of the light ACs, we might be able to fit in. Um, Time to die. Hmm. I'm just thinking about the crab. We, we should be able to do something to fix it up a little better. Going as fast as I can. Yeah, keep hammering this guy. There we go. And let's finish this up. A nice squatch. If we pull the ACs off, let us use dead fire ammo. I could put a six in instead of the four. And it'd be a heavy puncher at close range, I guess. So let's hope that's the end of that. Good payment. No injuries. A little bit of damage. Hatchetman parts, eh? Pirate ER medium lasers. Oh yeah, these are good for melee builds. We don't have any left. I use all four. I used four. I had only had four. I used all four of them. MRM twenty. Meh. Serms. That's a lot of serms. Ultra five. We don't have any. I mean, that's the other thing too. We could replace. I think those light AC5s are 5 tons each. We, we, we could replace them both with an Ultra 5. Recoil of 1. We should be fine because we got recoil compensation. I can put the AC um, accuracy thing back in the head. Heat is 6 or our heat will drop a little bit because those other ones are 4 each. That's a possibility. I'm going to do that. And no composite. I see engines. Fire control system melee. Plus one melee accuracy. That's interesting. Spike leg boots. Uh, yes, please. I can't believe we're hitting 220 with that guy. MRM improved. Plus two accuracy with medium range missiles. Fifty percent more likely to be intercepted by AMS. Huh. We have an ultra five ammo. We've got two, so we've got enough. Yeah, that's the other thing too is we need. We may need another extra, an extra ton of ultra five ammo. Well, we're no, I don't know if we will. It'll still be seven turns of consecutive firing. It's another set of spiked armor. We could throw this. I wonder if this is what's making the difference. We could throw this guy on. Um, yeah, let's take the spiked armor. We could throw that on the um, Griffin. Yeah, not really interested in Hatcherman. But let's see what we get. Okay, two hatcherman parts, not bad. Uh, powered e ER medium laser, which is nice. Ultra 5, Guardian ECM. Uh, for Infernal fluid ammo, which we don't have, and Ultra 5 ammo, which we didn't really need, but I'll take it. So, not a mix of good stuff and a mix of shit stuff. Okay. 18,000 for repairs, not bad at all. Is that it? Seapon greetings, too. We didn't make an enemy today. Oh, hope we didn't make an enemy. We always make enemies. ROM operations against us. We did get paid, and that's something. If I get my HPG mail in time this month, yeah. Let's check out, open that loot box at least. Rolling the dice. Ka-ching, ER PPC, eh. ER large laser, double plus flamer. Okay, we, could, we can actually instantly drop that in. AC2 double plus. Combat shield small. Eh. AC2 double plus again. And a friggin' urban mech. Part. <sighs> Hooray for that. Alright, well. <sighs> I 
Punch me now. Punch me in the face. Comstar plus 20 rep, though. All right. We'll take the plus 20 rep. Sure. Let's have a look, though. All right. Before we quit today, let's have a look at our Mac loadouts. We need... Oh, we got... Wow. That's a nice payment. I didn't even see how much we were making. We can make our financial report, guys. So we need to do a couple things. Let's see what we have up and running still. I think our flamers guy is up and running Shadowhawk. Yep. So let's have a look at the Shadowhawk. We're going to quickly drop in the double plus flamer. Don't want to forget we have that. We still have one of the older flamers in there. So there it is. Let's put it in. Cool. Confirm. Done. Right. I'll get it. Not minding that build. Okay, the crab now. This is, I've always found this a tricky mech to load out. I mean, you could put a couple of larges in it, but I don't know. We don't really have the point. Like the these are what five tons each? Yeah. So if we go, we don't have any AR-12 beacons, sheath beacons left, do we? No, we don't. Of course, we don't. Um. So let's take out, we take these two out and this, because we can't use that ammo. Put in some Ultra 5 ammo. I think if we pull this ammo out by itself, um, we want two tons of Ultra 5 ammo? Probably, I guess. And uh, where is our Ultra 5? I thought we had our ballistic there for a second. Ultra 5, where are you? I'm sure I passed you. No, I didn't. There you are. We don't have any room for ammo. You know, this is like... Well, I guess we could just remove this completely. Don't need it. One recoil. Let me get rid of that best way oh this has got minus one recoil right perfect uh and then we can just go ahead and drop in our srm dead fire ammo and we're good to go so we have higher overall damage long range we can always turn this off when we get close and our heat sinking has improved a little bit two points not bad okay let's confirm this i think i can live with this for now Yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah, we haven't got the hunchback back yet. Let's get that guy back, and then we'll put in... I don't know how we're going to fit that in there, though. The... Uh, here we go. I've got the financial report. Yeah, you're always prompt when it's financial report. Making sure everybody gets paid. I don't blame you. Let's have a look at the hunchback. I wonder if we can get that spike leg boog in there somehow. Um... I don't know. It's pretty tight as it is. We have enough room for it. It just means we have to put this guy up here. And then this will be the last slot. Where are you here? And it's fine to drop it in here. We don't have anything that's just pure melee. We're half a ton over. Uh, do we have and we'll save these I think um, damn how are we going to do this I guess it's just I don't want to take back armor off it's scary Something like that. Whoa. Whoa. You don't need to take six off, really? Two, four, five, six. Really? All right, not arguing. Let's confirm that. On 
And uh, where are you, Griffin? So we have an NSS in this guy right now. I want to see what would happen if we did this. Over by four and a bit tons. Do we need the LRM5? How much is it is it really giving us? Not a whole lot. I mean, it's nice to have chaff, but does this guy need chaff? Uh, I don't think so. Fluid gun. It's nice to have the acid, so let's leave that. A pod. Uh, we're only using it once. That's a half ton we don't necessarily need to use. The mask I know is volatile. Instability. Instability when destroyed. Doesn't does it oh I I know I see I see what it's saying. Creates makes the mech unstable when it's destroyed. Um, don't need that, we have no ammo now. Almost got it there, guys. Almost. Um, you know what else I want to do? Um, this is a weird kind of build, but let's pull this off. I'm going to change a couple things here. Pull that off. Claws, retractable blade, talons can come out for a second. Because I want to put that second ER medium that we just picked up, pirate medium here, in the arm. Base damage first, right? Then we want to go base damage plus percentage. Is this guy just base damage? It is, so that has to go in first. So Jade Talons needs to go in. Talons is just base damage too, right? Yep. Base damage. Base damage percentage. Base damage percentage. Right? And then this guy last. So I think we have to do that again. 10% melee damage. So let's do that again just to make sure that that takes correctly. Don't want to mess this up here. Uh, okay. So base damage first. So J talons, the talons. And then we want to put in the claws. We want to put in. Actually, let's put in the retractable blade first. Then the claws. And then the DNI cockpit at the end. Okay, so that's this. Then let's look at taking a little bit. Well, do we have enough room for patchwork materials now? Um, we're at full armor. So if we put patchwork in, tag can go back in. We don't have any more support points. We do. We got one more, but we can't put anything on the arm. Um, yeah, maybe we just run a little bit uh, underweight. I really hate doing that. There's got to be something for a half ton we can use. Now, do we have well, actually? Do we have a uh, a light? Um, Tag? No, we got a tagger. It's two slots though. However, I can put the fluid gun here. Fluid ammo is Yeah, we don't have case in anymore. God, I hate that. Because we can always throw the tagger here. 
and come a little bit down on armor. Like that. Actually, is there another way we can do is there another way we can do acid? Like if we don't do this. We'd still need case though. Um, see the SRM2, it's only one ton. Two streak is over, five is two tons. This is what, ton and a half, too much. This is plus one accuracy. Uh, I don't know. Gotta hate to say this, maybe we drop a rocket launcher in. We could put a chaff rocket launchers. Like if we leave the tag, or the, uh, sorry. A pod, we got B pods, right? So maybe we do, this is improved 20, one and a half ton. So these are like what, one ton? Chaps are like a quarter ton with five shots. So if we put chaff and chaff, we're out of space. Yeah, this is tricky. What else can we do here? That's a good possibility too. But we need... Oh, this is a laser AMS though, right? Eight heat per shot. But we're going to be really heat efficient. We got 72 heat sinking. How's it 72? Royal, right, we're a royal mech. So that laser AMS is totally worth it then. It need to be in here. With a ton left, we don't need all the patchwork materials, which means we could pull that out. And then drop in a, uh, yeah, there we go. Does this, this, this doesn't fire on uh, melee, does it? Recoil of eight, misfire. I don't want to have to misfire, that's the problem. Um, yeah, so let's go with. Um, Grab that chaff rocket launcher. The chaff launcher. Sure. It's going to give us a little bit more damage. Not much more, but a little bit more. Every little bit counts. Laser AMS, a bit more protection. Okay. Tagger will do a little bit more damage with the tag. Yeah, I mean, so this tag here is... 15% easier to detect and see. This is 20 something, right? 20, 10%. Plus 2 accuracy. Plus 1 accuracy. I'm thinking about the painter itself. Gives you plus 2 accuracy. Falls off to 20. I don't care about the weapon fall off. 5 to sensor checks. This is what? seven to sensor checks but when we're already close in we're already going to be spotting the guy anyway weapon does not fire in melee but this one does yeah so we're going to go with this one all right so let's deploy this that's i think this will work all right guys so i think that'll be it for today um 
a few tweaks on the mechs, got the flashpoint done, got a whole urban mech part out of that because that was totally worth it. Um, wow. We got some good sea bills though, so we were able to pay ourselves off. We got a month before we got to be doing stuff. So we'll figure out where we're going next episode. If you got any suggestions, drop it in the comment section. I'm thinking we head more towards diner space. Um, start heading maybe up towards the clans or something. Again, continue the fight to them. Um, we'll take missions along the way. Maybe we go up uh, um, in the direction of the where Steiner's gone up um, on the left-hand side there of the map. Um, just so that we can hit a lot of planets that aren't going to be like half skull before we get there. And then maybe jump into clan space. We'll have to see how it goes though. So, all right, we're going to leave it there. So until next time, uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.